Hello and welcome to watching this video. In this video, I want to teach you how you can throw a shuriken like this. It's very simple and easy. For modeling the shuriken, first you should go to, uh, for example, Cinema 4D. I create this modeling in Cinema 4D. As you can see, first um, you should open Cinema 4D and I want to create something like this. Okay, first um, I save this. Okay, first create a mm, tube and here decrease inner, for example, here is good, and decrease outer reduce and uh, decrease high mm, like this and uh, a little increase this too. Very good. example here is good okay now you should create a new cube and here select um, scale and decrease size to here for example and now decrease size in high and x now change it to here again change it to this okay here is good and now here select um, an side and after that change this side to 3 and now decrease radius for example mm, I think here is good and change this plane to x z okay very good now change this to here and rotate it mm, to nine okay that's good um, a little change it very good now here you should extrude that and select extrude and drag this inside and inside it this X root and now select X root and change this to zero and increase this for example three is good very good now select this X root and here change it to make edit table very good and now drag out and select this three layer and in object select connect object and delete very good now select this extrude and this cube and in object select group object that's good now you can drag it to here okay and um, here we should adjust this here mm, here is good okay now we should create a clone in my graph in cloner change this to radial and drag this null is under cloner very good and select this cloner change this plane to x and z very good and just change this to here radius should, should adjust this radius for example here is good very good now you should just in file save as and save your project and now you should open After Effect. I want animate this shuriken in Adobe After Effect. Okay. First, here, <coughs> create a new composition. And copy this video to here. 
Okay. As you can see here, we don't have that shuriken. First, create a new solid and make sure that uh, make comp size and then click OK. And after that, in effect, video copilot, select element 3D. Very good. And now you should select send setup. And here you should select import. And now select your Cinema 4D project here. Okay, and here um, just select um, use auto normals and then press OK. Very good. As you can see, that shuriken I was create that now is import in Element 3D. Now um, you can add a texture, a simple texture. Um, in material for example mm, you can use this material or for example this or you can adjust create adjust material very good for example I want to use this material now press OK as you can see that shuriken is Available now and now just we should animate this shuriken first Change and drag it to here um, In first for example that starts from here now go to render um, Board transform and after that here in Z change it and To here that's good. And in word rotation, rotate it a little from here. And in Y, um, no, no, um, in Z, yes. In Z, change it to here. And again, change this to here. Mm. Okay. Now insert keyframe in word position in Z and mm, in Y and a little we need in X. Um, in Z and uh, a little in X. Okay. Now from here to, for example, here change this to here first adjust position and to here Okay, and now to here it should here very good now from here to here it should change position in Z change this for example to here And again in Z to here. Mm. Like this. Okay, f um, in first look, you can see it's like this. But in, uh, in your project, you should insert keyframe uh, frame by frame for adjust exactly the shuriken inside this hand but uh, in this tutorial just I want show you how you can't use this trick in Adobe After Effects okay now we should rotate this shuriken for do that first go to um, group 1 and open particle replicator 
and here open rotation group now from here insert keyframe in Y rotation and to here mm, I think one is good now as you can see it's like this okay it's good now for realistic that first um, here enable motion blur and after that here select this and active motion blur for that and now when you play that as you can see it's more natural like this and now in element 3d plugin um, go to render setting and in ambient occlusion enable that um, and increase ambient occlusion mm, 55 is good and in physical environment change this layer to change it to your video for example here that's good now when you play that as you can see like this and here blue is not good for this material um, I think now oh, I think um, black glass is better yes um, is better now and now create a new adjustment layer and change it between element 3d and your video and here in effect um, obsolete select fast blur and um, from for example here insert keyframe and to here change this to blur that to here and for element 3d layer in effect in absolute um, select fast blur and for this create keyframe and for example from 20 to this mm, change it to zero very good now when you play that as you can see it will be like this it's very good. and if you want um, in element plugin um, here in particle count you can change it for example two and in replicator effects group in scatter you can change and increase that for example here is two you can use three or and you can input your number of shuriken that you want okay now for example here when you play that you can see it will be like this As you can see, it will be like this. It's very cool. Instead of this shuriken, you can use knife and, for example, you can use other things. Other things, you can replace this shuriken for 
this through your things okay and um, for example here for color of this you can select your element 3d layer and after that in effect color correction you can use level little change this level example here is better very good i hope you like this tutorial thank you for watching this video and goodbye